Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, we will uh, take an intro to cable component and uh, see how the cable component works and how our character can collide with the cable component and what are the different pro properties of cable and how you can attach two ends to some actors so you can move cable wherever you want and some other uh, properties of cable like increase the flexibility, increase the length and increase the number of segments to make it more good good looking and solve iterations and many other examples so let's jump into the tutorial to see how the cable actor actually works let's start first of all we will see a general cable actor and its properties and then we will add a cable component into our this uh, character uh, character then we will see how to use cable inside the character so first of all you can create a cable actor by going to blueprint class you can do it in two ways one select simple actor and inside inside the actor uh, add cable component or you can simply write cable here and select that cable actor so now we have our uh, cable actor here you can drag now you can see it has a cable inside of it so if we open that you can see it's a cable and a cable component here so first of all the cable actor <coughs> component has attach start and attach end it means it's attaching to the start and the end point so if i uncheck it you can see it drops and only the end point is attached now if i attach uh, at end to uncheck now you can see it's attached to the starting point only so if you want to attach that rope to some other actor we will do that later also you can do it from here so now uh, the other important properties are the end location so if we make it zero you can see it's our starting point and cable length uh, so if we increase you can see it's increasing now okay so it will increase in the direction you want okay and also if you want to add height you can also so now it's going up and down so actually this is a end location see it location as uh, as soon as we start to increase the end location this cable end point uh, starts to increase and and so on so now you can see uh, we have a end location uh, so let's reset it and increase the cable to like 200 now there comes a cable length so if we have a cable length uh, very short you can see it's kind of stretchy now and now if we increase the cable length you can see now the cable is of high length that's why it's uh, not stretched anymore but you can see a uh, little segments here it's giving us a kind of uh, low poly feelings so if you want to uh, correct this there's a setting and number of segments if you increase the number of segments now you can see it's very much smooth now okay now it's smooth now it has actually more segments it means now it's doing more calculations so if we increase our segments now you can see it has six segments one two three four five and six and if we decrease it more uh, only four segments one two three and four so it depends on your requirements how much segments you want and the other thing is solver iterations it means how stiff uh, you want cable to be so if we increase it 
it will be more flexible and so uh, it actually means how the stiff your cable is so if i increase and now you can see if i decrease the uh, solver attrition to zero was to one you can see it is moving a bit more okay now if I increase it to it to maximum value now you can see it's more stiffer and it's uh, less flexible so let's see reset Now the other thing is cable force. So if you want to add a force, uh, if I say let's add it on y axis, uh, let me add more. For now you can see. Now you can see force is adding, added in that direction. So cable bends that in that direction now. So if we add a force upwards. Now you can see the the cable moves up because of the applied force. Now it also has a gravity. So if you decrease the gravity, uh, something like that. Now you can see it's uh, behaving like it, it's in the low gravity area. And now we have a reverse gravity negative gravity now it's in the upper direction so if we increase the gravity more definitely now you can see and then now it the gravity is higher now you can you can see cable is not moving like it was moving before now other thing is the cable width so right now you can see the cable width if i increase the value you can see it's getting wide and so now it's a very uh, it's a very flexible component you have a lot of options the way you want to customize it and it is very useful in game mechanics like grappling hook so number of sides now you can see right at the moment it has uh, four sides one two three four if you want to make it more round you have to increase it now you can see it's more round shape so everything you add up here will definitely cost you performance and will come with more calculation so you always you have to uh, think uh, what uh, values suits you best and tile material uh, is for how much tiling you want here now it's now tiling increases now it's kind of the material is stretched now so you can increase or decreasing the decrease the tiling of a mat applied material and you can uh, change the material of a cable to any material you want for example if we want to something like brick clay new so it's now you can see the material is changed and we can adjust the tile material see the another thing is the collision right now cable actor has no collision for example if i uh, play it now if uh, my character moves on it it has no collision so in order to uh, enable the collision on cable we have to go inside the properties and advance now you can enable collision from here enable collision now when our character moves you can see that it's colliding okay and it's going from above his head it's colliding perfectly but one thing uh, the collision comes with lots of uh, lot of cost i think i have read in documentation so you definitely um, so recommended way i read on many forums that recommended way is to use 
collision seem uh, some other way unless you need cable collision uh, for some very specific reason otherwise you need and uh, you can use some other ways of collision maybe uh, some collision box on the cable components and you can do it many other ways now if i want to add a actor here and i want that end to attach to that actor we can do this simply by uh, let's add an actor here bb uh, cable actor attach okay so let's add a cube here decrease its size a bit okay now bring that actor here now in the cable component you can see an option of attach and to but to make it work you have to reset it to zero and make it zero and also make it uh, make it zero now you can attach now wherever you drag that actor the cable will cable atta and attach will follow that direction and now you can adjust the properties of the cable like uh, cable length depends on how much you want it to be flexible and stiff number of segments and solver iterations and other properties you want so this was the basic intro about the uh, cable component so I think uh, we took a lot of time here for this tutorial in the next tutorial uh, I will attach this cable component to character component and we will see how to use cable component with character component and after that we will make a grappling hook game mechanics uh, some kind of uh, you can see in uh, some games like in Uncharted and some other games or maybe you can use those uh, mechanics in Spider-Man type games where you can uh, hook things, hook yourself with the cable to anything and you can fly to that uh, place or any every anything. So till then, Allah Hafiz.